Hi, my name is Kayla, your American pronunciation coach, and I am excited to give you this introduction to this specialized pronunciation course specifically tailored to native Arabic speakers. The reason why this excites me so much and why I am so passionate about teaching pronunciation and accent work is because of my own experience in learning my second language as an adult. The thing that helped me free up my self-expression and feel confident when speaking with other speakers, more than anything, it was not grammar, it was not vocabulary, it was not verbs. It was the ability to pronounce things in a natural way because I understood how to imitate and mimic and eventually take on new habits for pronunciation that made speaking my non-native language feel natural, effortless, and fun. That is the goal with pronunciation training. So what we do is we compare what the native and natural tendencies we have in our native language are, linguistically speaking, versus the tendencies with other different sounds, vowels, consonants in our non-native language, in this case, English. So we want to define what are the differences, what are the similarities, and develop new habits and patterns so that we can take on a new way of speaking so that speech sounds more natural. Accents are beautiful in any and all languages, but working on pronunciation specifically can help us to enhance clarity and understand how to empower our message and convey ourselves in a way that makes us sound more interesting and more captivating, as well as speak faster and still sound really clear to other English speakers. So my top tip for success for getting started with this course is to start to identify and monitor for yourself what feels like a strength for you and what feels like a weakness. While this course is tailored specifically to native Arabic speakers, you will not all have the same tendencies linguistically. Some of you may find certain sounds very easy because of your regional dialects or your natural accent within Arabic as a language, and other things may feel more difficult. So throughout this process, I want you to keep note of all of the things that feel like, ooh, this feels really good. I feel very strong with this sound or with this uh, aspect of speech. And then for things that feel a little more difficult, you tend to get more confused. You have to practice more times. Make a list of those things so that you know what to focus on. We don't want to practice the easy things over and over because we already know them. To achieve the best results in the least amount of time, we want to focus in and be hypersensitive to the weaknesses and the difficulties and struggles that we have phonetically. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to focus on the things that are most difficult and put our hyper awareness and focus on them so that we can achieve the maximum results in the most efficient amount of time. I cannot wait to be there with you and support you on this journey. Thank you for joining me.